All right, this is an attempt at a mail merge in order to bring names and awards in from a spreadsheet to automatically populate an award created in Publisher. One of the most important things that we'll need is a spreadsheet holding the information to include the names of the people getting the awards and the names of the awards. We note that our information is all in sheet one. By default, a new spreadsheet will have three sheets. Sheet one is the only one that we're using. I have selected from the new from a design, publications for print, award certificates, and plain paper. I picked this simple certificate of appreciation because it's simple. It only has a few places for information, and that's a good choice. Here where it says name of recipient, we want it to automatically fill in the names of our various recipients. So I'm going to get rid of the wording and place there a merge field. I'm going to Tools, Mail and Catalog Merge, hit the double down arrow so I can see everything and I'm going to open a data source. Alright, so the data source that I want is the spreadsheet that has my information. I know it's on my desktop and I named it Awards. It wants to know which of the three sheets includes my information. We already noted it was sheet one. It's selected and I click OK. Now that we're connected to the data source, we need to pick which data field to place here under this certificate is awarded to. So I go back to Tools, Mail and Catalog Merge, and Insert Field. Now I have my two choices here, Name or Award. We want Name. We can now see within double brackets we have the word name so it will populate that with name. Here it says in recognition of valuable contributions to business name. Wow that's not at all what we're after. Let's reword that and make it say for a great job which doesn't really make good sense either, but it works well enough for this. Here we want to tell what the award is. In fact, I'm just going to get rid of this text altogether. And here it will say award. Uh, I'm thinking that that might look better larger though, so let's make it 28. There we are. We don't need this organization logo. I may be getting a little carried away here. All right. I would also like it to automatically populate the date. So I am going to highlight the word date and replace it with insert date and time 5/11/2012. This is just giving us a format. Okay. And in the next one the same thing. Insert date and time. Ooh, I didn't let's see, update automatically. Good. Well, let's do that on the first one as well because I failed to. Insert date and time. Good. Update automatically. So whatever day that these are made, the date will automatically populate. This could of course be left out. Now to find out if our little procedure worked, we're going to click and go to preview your publication. Click Chad Griffith, my award being best haircut. Well that seems reasonable. Alright, let's complete the merge. We have some options here. We can merge it directly to a printer or we can create a new publication or we could add it to an existing publication. We want a new publication and here we have page one of two. And on page two of two we have the second person John Smith with the Principal's Award. Automatically populated. 
fantastic.